I love architecture, any kind of creative structure, places where we can live, work and play. I worked for several architectural firms back in the early 80s, building miniature models and helping design retirement communities and shopping malls. <sighs> Through the years, I designed proposed resorts for here in Vegas, but the one I liked the best was when a few years ago I was asked to design an aviation-themed resort hotel casino. I absolutely loved that job because I always loved airports and jet travel, especially growing up in the 60s and 70s when the jet age was in full glory. I designed the resort to look and feel like a luxury international airport. Cars would pull up underneath the wing of a real 747 which housed two dance clubs, a restaurant and a cafe on the inner wing. It had waterfalls and swimming pools on the roof of the casino and even a rotating restaurant club called the Mile High Club. But that was right when the economy crashed, so it never got built, but who knows, maybe someday. I love retro-futuristic architecture, especially built in exotic locations, like scenes from a James Bond movie. This is a house I designed to be in Arizona for my TV show Atomic City. Of course, it has a spectacular view of Monument Valley and comes complete with its own private helicopter pad on the roof. Speaking of Atomic City, it's a TV show idea of mine set in an imaginary 1960s and all the architecture is that retro Jetson space look. I drew all kinds of designs for cafes, coffee shops, restaurants, and cool buildings that could be in the show. I even built miniature models for some of them, like the Orbit Coffee Shop, which has a little retro rocket going around the top of it. It's kind of cool. I like thinking of cool places to live. Like, wouldn't it be cool to live inside an old casino sign? I mean, these things are huge. You could totally live in one. You could drive up to it, push a button in your turbine-powered jet car, and the side of the sign would open up. You drive in and park. A staircase then takes you upstairs to a spaceship built into the design of the spacey theme. The windows have a 360-degree view of the city outside, which I called Las Vegas. The house comes complete with a pop-up record player built into the floor, a very 60s automatic drink dispenser, a hands-free drop-down mini video communicator screen you can talk to while making breakfast, Weird rum, man. and another communicator built into a tiki head ornament. Uncle Mel lives in an even wackier place. The Rat Pack lounge down the street has an old 50-foot rat out in front to attract customers. This roadside attraction is big enough for someone to live in, and that's just what Uncle Mel does, who uses the big mouse ears as satellite dishes and the whiskers as radio antennas. In the TV show, it looked real, but it was actually just a miniature model I built. What can I say? I love architecture, and the wackier the better. On a more serious note, I was also asked to design a world-class healing resort on an exotic island, but I can't really say too much about that yet. <laughs> Stay tuned. You can see other stuff I've done on my website, like another video I did on miniature models.